Hello boys and girls, Ava and I are back again to do some more kitchen science and today we're going to show you how to make your own fire extinguisher. Experiment. You need some candles, I have some tea lights here that I've put in a mixing bowl to keep them safe, some bicarbonate of soda with a big spoon, a measuring jug and some vinegar. The next step is to make our fire extinguisher. Now Ava's going to make that starting with two tablespoons of bicarbonate of soda. So pop that in the jug please Ava. That's, that's fine, that's one. And another one. That's fine, pop that in. Now pour in the vinegar. And it should start to fizz because the vinegar and the bicarbonate of soda are reacting together and it's an irreversible reaction because they produce new substances and one of the substances they're producing is what we're interested in today and that's the carbon dioxide. And what we need to do is we need to let it fizz for a while because we want the carbon dioxide to come out of all those bubbles. Now we've dimmed the lights so we can see this effect um, much more dra dramatically now, Ava, if you could just pour the carbon dioxide into the jug now, it should put the, put the candles out. Wow, look at that. So it was invisible. And even though it was invisible, it was still there. And it acted as a fire extinguisher and put out the candles for us. Now the carbon dioxide worked then through smothering the flame and stopping the oxygen from getting to the candle. And it's similar to how carbon dioxide fire extinguishers work. Although, of course, they don't have vinegar and bicarbonate of soda in them. They have carbon dioxide, which has been pressurised to, to squeeze as much as they can into the extinguisher. Now, I hope you enjoyed this. It was certainly fun for me to see it work so effectively today. But remember, if you are going to do an experiment like this at home, make sure you have an adult with you because candles like all flames can be dangerous. Thank you for listening.